welcome to cricketnews.com it's time for super sunday it's india versus england the second t20i of the five between these two fantastic teams the first one being taken by england clearly outplayed india india's turn now hopefully to fight back and to devour and understand that sandeepan banerjee joins me at this point of time sandeepan england with their tails up india have a lot of thinking to do ahead of this important game uh, in the series i think a complete revamp in their game plan is the need of the hour for the indian team you know um, mm. because um, they were completely outplayed in all three departments in the first game so i hope mm. that uh, i though i still believe that india you know, the 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 way the indian top order tried uh, to go after the bowling in the power play yeah. they should not abandon that plan but they should mm. add some caution in that. but because it, that is that was that is needed in the indian team because it's a one dimensional batting order especially at the top mm. and they need some sort of an emphasis in the first power play so i think i think that that one area mm. india should continue to work on but otherwise i think uh, they need to rethink their game plan and they i think they had done that they had a, they, they had took a day off yesterday and now i i think most of the players will be fresh to go uh, go uh, mm. take the field today tonight Yeah, very interesting because Virat Kohli very clearly mentioned that you know we have only five T Twenty years ahead of of the World Cup as of now at least, um, and you know we have to take good advantage of it. We need to understand what are the combinations we're going to play in the World Cup. This is all the time you have at the moment. So, having said that, the importance of these games is so much more, and therefore the pressure also is a whole lot more, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean. um you mm. know ipl is a different ball game altogether there are different franchises have different combinations but here in uh, in the in the in the in india colors you have to identify your right combination because there are too many superstars and there is a superstar culture in indian cricket where you cannot drop a superstar or you cannot you know ignore a superstar uh so that's why that's why you need to find a different combination but the problem is that most of these top order players they are one dimensional cricketers mm. they play approach their approach mm. towards t20s is like an they they approach the t20s like an shorter version of a 50 over game which actually isn't look at how england plays Mm-hmm. even i mean uh, even yeah. uh, if you pull your spinner in that uh, uh, in the power play they will use their feet whereas against adil rashid in the first game no none of the indian top order batsmen used their feet i was very surprised so mm-hmm. i know you have to because india have always been a, like maybe for uh, 50 for one kind of a team in the power play whereas the modern day t20 ask you ask you to be at least 65 or 74 70 for maybe two or three but you need to hit uh, you know you have a, a strong start in the power play speaking about the power play two gentlemen that have had great influence in that space rohit sharma and shikhar dhawan rohit of course not most probably will not be a part of this game shikhar dhawan got out in a, a very poor fashion in the first game Lot of pressure on him, isn't it? Because he's already been classified as the third opener. Virat's come out and said that KL and Rohit are our prime time openers. They'll go out and take on the new ball at the very beginning, even probably in the World Cup as well. But Shikhar is the third opener. Having said that, now is Shikhar's time to prove that he can break that barrier, isn't it? Massive game from Shikhar. I think, I think one, one or two more failures and probably his T20 career. It will be very hard for him to come back in the T20 format. But he deserves this chance, you know, because he did well in yeah. Australia, and he tried to be the aggressor in uh, against Australia in the recent past. So I guess I guess Sikhar will get uh, one right. more chance at least in uh, tonight. So let's hope that he will make him make him uh, make the best out of this opportunity. Mm. The other gentleman in that top order is Virat Kohli, still waiting for that hundred. When is it going to come? Uh, and to be honest. We've written about it. We've said that there is no cause of worry. He's getting runs. He's just not getting three-figure runs. But again, got out to Adil Rashid again in the first T20I. Um, well, big game for him as well. But one thing we know for the likes of Shikhar and uh, Virat as well, when the chips are down, these guys perform. I think they need to perform, you know, because in order to beat this England side. 
I think India need to play their, <laughs> uh, you know, play their skin, you know, play out of their skin. Top cricket. I mean, I mean, look, yeah, yeah I mean, um, they are uh, England. Let's first accept that. Let's address the elephant in the room: is that England, England are a better white ball side in a, even in the t- fifty over format as well, and even mm. in their T Twenty game plans. Look at that; they were they like. They had a very settled game plan. Owen Morgan looks like very looks at his comfort zone when he was, uh, you know, handling these bowlers. Even yeah. we saw Sam Curran bowling one over in the death. Then they are starting the starting proceedings with Adil Rashid when still a left-hander is on strike. That's right. So these are the things. These are the you know things. Uh, you know, experiments you need to do in T20 cricket because you in T20 cricket you cannot be predictable. You cannot be one-dimensional, and that's what in England does in uh, in this format in white ball cricket. So that's why they're they're mm. they're the uh, they're a very superior time and very strong team to beat in this format. Yeah, they, they, very interestingly, a lot of the critics are really appreciating the fact that England packed their strength. They did not say Ahmedabad is a place where the spin is going to work. It's worked in the past. And so we play more spinners and we'll sit, rest our fast bowlers. They went in with what works for them. They went in with Wood, Archer um, and, and Stokes and, and, a whole, and all of these options. And it clicked for them. While India went in with three, three spinners in conditions where there was so much new. Uh, obviously, there was not a lot of runs on the board uh, to actually test uh, the Indian bowlers. But uh, speaking of India, do you reckon another? There's there's the probability of another seam bowler playing today. Someone like a Saini or a Chahar. Um, I think yes. I think they should play once. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, once because dew is a huge factor in Ahmedabad. And uh, if you are bold, mm. if you are defending, then probably playing three spinners will be a, will uh, is not what the doctor orders. So I guess I guess they need mm. an extra sec- security. But good thing is that Hardik is fit fit to bowl and Hardik bowled in the first game. So that is one good thing mm. because he's him bowling will add a lot of uh, you know variety in the bowling lineup and it adds depth mm. to the uh, you know in depth to the bowling options as well. So mm-hmm. I guess I get, but I still believe that Akshar. Okay, he has uh, he did well in the Test series, and that's fine. But I think uh, I think I think India needs to play one, uh, probably one uh, seamer in place of Akshar tonight. Interesting. Not Sundar. You're saying Akshar? No, Sundar is a very uh, he can bowl in the power play, and he's a good mm-hmm. bowler against uh, against left-handers in the power play. Briyat Kohli prefers him. Oper- operates with him. Uh, in we are you know he, in RCB, RCB as well. There's a trust factor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trust factor is there, and I think with the likes of Morgan Malan, they are in the in England top four. I think we need to play soon. Yeah, play. off spinner. Yeah, makes sense. Very interesting thoughts indeed. Uh, but when you look at the batting order, though, not a lot of changes. You think today you'd like to give that that unit just an, another chance. Uh, to go ahead and and play, uh, would you also play Rishabh Pant at four? Because that is a very interesting change we saw. The idea obviously was to attack India. Were two down in the first game, and they said they told Rishabh to go out there, and he did what he did. By uh, what was that shot he played again? I I don't know what you what do you want to call it? A reverse paddle uh, or whatever reverse, that was. Bad. But would you yeah, play him at reverse, four? I would definitely because he's in good form. So yeah. in T20 mm. cricket, it's just 120 ball innings, you know. So I guess uh, you, if you are uh, probably Rishabh is now the most informed batsman in this team because Rahul hasn't played in a, mm. played, uh, you know, played for a while. Enough cricket. Uh, mm. Dhawan, so is Dhawan. Virat is going through a rough patch. Uh, so I guess I guess uh, Rishabh is probably India's best uh, in in for most informed batsman. So he should play m- m- more. How times change, some people. How times change. <laughs> It just six months ago, Rishabh Pant was being dropped and wasn't being up included. There were times when he was made to sit out, citing fitness reasons. Today, he is India's primary batter. You can literally call him one of India's primary batters at this point of time. Times change very absolutely, quickly. absolutely, absolutely. And a good thing is that now Rahul doesn't have to do the extra duty of wicket keeping, so it will help him to focus on his batting as well. That is one good thing has, that has come out from. Rishabh's uh, yeah. Rishabh's Renesa. Rishabh's Renesa. Oh, beautiful. 
very poetic very poetic look when you talk about rishab the conversation has been around fitness for a long time there's been conversation around is he fit is he not fit he's looking bulky things of that nature but he's obviously ravi shastri has come out and said we told him to get fit we told him to go out there lose a little bit of weight um, um and, uh, and and he's come back in and he's done well but how do you look at the situation there's a lot of conversation around this whole fitness versus skill factor where do you pick players solely because they are fit or do you pick players over you know if if they are solid in in their skill and their fitness is so and so you carry them along and then you get them fit in you know along the way varun chakravarty is an example he's somebody who brings something entirely different to this team completely different to you know you got finger spinners everywhere and there's this guy who does something with his fingers and and it's completely different so where do you sit on on that debate sandeep on the whole skill versus fitness factor well uh, it's a, it's a complicated thing you know because for someone like rishab he was not only uh, un, uh, going through some fitness issues he had some issues with his form as well considering if you considered his performance in the last ipl so when your yeah. player is obviously is in not in form you cannot pick him but in mm. that and the other case varun chakravarty who did exceptionally well in the ipl but mm. he's he is one fielder whom you need to hide in the, on the field uh which so is something that this team does not uh, does not carry exactly. along this team doesn't you want cannot, that at all. you can yeah you cannot concede those extra runs on the field especially in the t20 format uh so mm. i guess i guess uh, and and actually he had a serious issue with his, with his throwing arm and when he was picked initially for australia then he was not he did not travel because he was he wasn't uh, he was not uh, being able to throw the balls from the deep uh, so mm. you don't they, with the kind of you know with the kind of pool of players in, in india the kind of bench strength india have i don't think india needs to sacrifice on the on the field front so i think that was a good move but for mm. someone like rishab who is obviously an investment for the future can you can actually you know accept that, investment yeah accept and uh, you know mm. go ahead yeah but the, yeah but he's also come a long way hasn't he like his Absolutely. keeping has drastically improved um and he has uh, earned his place let's, come let's, a long way let's, let's address displaced. the elephant in the room he has earned his place and and this is being said by two people who absolutely adore vidyman saha let's just put it out there like vidyman saha <laughs> for sandeepan and i is is mr fantastic but rishabh pant has toppled his place in test cricket and now he is making his uh, well deserved place in limited overs cricket as well which is absolutely incredible sandeepan before we wrap this preview up of course we've mentioned about england we've spoken about their strengths what is one area that india could look to penetrate england at you reckon mm i think probably india needs to uh, you know go after the likes of rashid uh, the their spinners moin and rashid i know they are very good spinners they are ex- experienced enough but still india indian batsmen are known for you know uh, dominating the spinners and these are their own conditions and with the do you around i think india should go after the spinners as well and also i think i think india needs to in india needs to go after i think arch someone like archer as well because if you allow archer to settle in and bowl to his areas then it will be very hard to you know very hard to uh, because uh, they have the likes of mark wood and ben stokes to uh, you know Uh, back up as uh, uh, back up mm. archer's performance what happened in rajasthan royals yeah. archer used to bowl those mm. initial three overs with brilliantly and then their backup bowlers were not that mm. good but here in uh, yeah. against, in Eng- in this england side their backup bowlers are quite good as well so you should uh, obviously mm. if you are the best batting lineup in the world and all these likes of rohit virat all these superstars around let's try let's try to you know uh, to go after archer i think every bowler yeah. has is uh, you know if you if you go after uh, archer i think uh, probably he, he, you can it also sends a message line length yeah, yeah it also it, sends it, a message to england yeah, as well that we are going to play mm-hmm. fire with fire and that's what that's how you I can understand. lead this england team so more paddle shots then that's the order of the day more paddle shots rishabh pant <laughs> give him a call and tell him to play more paddle shots <laughs> well, why, why not why not uh, why not 
Yeah, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, that is another thing that we will definitely look forward to. That India of course shot, will be. He, his paddle saw shot against Anderson completely threw threw him out out of his lines, and he was like uh, taken by surprise. I think after that, <laughs> after the shot, Anderson was like completely out of the game. He was not that effective. Yeah, with the second yeah, new ball on yeah. that day. Well, hundred percent. Well, just shows how. time can change people time can change careers and courses and and how you can go from one end of the spectrum to the other with with hard work determination and of course results a talent obviously goes without saying rishabh pant clearly now the the absolute highlight for the day everyone's waiting to see him bat and uh, you know so are we uh, sandeep pant before we wrap up of course the toss the big big this is in fact the biggest elephant in the room the toss now you you it's almost like a lottery in these conditions you win the toss you're that much closer to winning the game uh, of course by bowling first yes that's 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 actually quite unfortunate because you know dew plays a huge yeah. role in ahmedabad uh, though actually in the first game there was not much dew that i can tell you um but, oh interesting uh, but it can it can be much watch worse especially you know the western part of the country you know and the even yeah. the yeah it takes time to evening for the evening to settle in so i think i think dew mm. can be a huge factor but india cannot obviously you cannot depend your uh, fate in on uh, depend depending you cannot depend on the fate on on the due factor yeah, or yeah. toss factor yeah, yeah yeah so india need to find out uh, the india needs to find out ways to counter the due counter the weight ball and probably that's why they should play one extra seamer as an extra hmm. security 100% well contingency plans plans to tackle uh, opposition bowlers plans to strengthen your own resources all of those factors will be in play india will be considering all of that and uh, will be prepping for a big big game it's sunday the match is happening of course at 7 pm ist the what a brilliant way to end your week india taking on england in the second t20i in ahmedabad and of course cricketnews.com well are on top of it will bring you the latest from the proceedings in amdavad why of course our fantastic video content and on site as well where sandeepan plays a pivotal role sandeepan banerjee thank you so much for joining us happy sunday to you have a good sunday of course you'll be working at the end of the day like all of us as well um but that's just the nature of our work but we enjoy it don't we yeah same to you sumit i let's hope that in we'll end this week with a 1-1 result of this five match series well we'll hope so as well see you around <laughs>